Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel and thank you for joining us today. In today's video, we will be planting 1,000 beautiful begonias in our front garden. As Nadge was saying, we're going to be planting the begonias in these four raised beds at the front of our property, in our front garden. Most of our flower beds and borders are a mixture of perennials and annual bedding. For these particular beds, we always simply use bedding begonias, which we really, really like. Now, the bedding begonias are over here. This is the first batch. Here we've got about 400 of the bedding begonias, and these are the ones that Nadge is going to be planting to begin with. Nadge is now starting to do the planting. We've made some holes where they're going to go around the outside of the bed initially. And she's decided on which of the begonias she's going to have in each of the holes. She's laid them out and now she's actually planting them. So this is the very first circle around the outside of the bed. There will be several different circles and this is the first one. The soil in the raised beds has been very well prepared. There's organic fertiliser mixed in. It's been dug over, it's been raked, large lumps have been removed. The bedding begonias that Nadge is planting have been hardened off for two or three weeks outside at least to prepare them for planting. It's actually much later than we normally plant our bedding begonias. But due to them developing very slowly this year and various other issues, we haven't got around to planting them yet. We think the bedding begonias are absolutely superb bedding plants. We really, really like them. They've got certain great advantages. They're very weather tolerant. Whether it's hot weather or rainy weather, it doesn't affect them too much. The main thing that we really like about them is they don't need deadheading. Mm, that's correct. That's so, so important to us. We wouldn't want to put in a thousand plants that are going to need deadheading all the time. But these bedding begonias, they don't require deadheading. And so they're absolutely great. We love them. We just wish they were in a wider range of colours. Hopefully the plant breeders will eventually get into a situation where there's more colours. So the first circle then has been completed. Nadge is now doing the second circle of begonias in the bed. The holes have been made. The begonias have been laid out into the position where they're required. And she's now going around putting them into the holes. This is the second circle. Okay. Just wondering how many she's going to be able to do before she can't reach over. I couldn't reach me. I'm trying to sit, but I couldn't reach my... Well, when you can't reach, you're going to have to get into the middle, aren't you? How are we going to... And people will see how we do that. I don't know. Perhaps you will be attached to a big harness on a crane or something like that and you will be lowered into the middle. As you can see, if the prep is done beforehand, then it's quite an easy job to plant them in the holes. The holes are already made. If the plants are laid out, taken out of their pots and everything, actually putting them into the holes is not a difficult job. Perhaps Nadge wouldn't agree with that, but... Okay then, so the second circle has now been completed. And now Paul is planting 
the begonias in the third row because I couldn't reach. <laughs> My arms are short. <laughs> We'll have to put you on the rack and make your arms a bit longer. Yeah. Mm. So he got the technique to plant the begonias. He's been doing this for how many years, darling? Long time. Long time. Oh, you missed two. Two. Okay, we'll get two. And now Paul is planting begonias in the fourth row. Fourth circle, and I can just about reach. <laughs> I told you, you need the wood now. The last circle that I can reach. Last circle? Yep. Yeah. The next one, this is where we get the crane and we lower you down on a harness. Come on, boys. <laughs> really? Yep, absolutely. My goodness. Oh, we didn't count how many we planted. Ah. How many do you think? In one uh, circle bed. Ah, very. Nice. Yeah. Maybe we'll be planting until afternoon. <laughs> right, okay. Four, three, oh, three. perfect. <clears throat> and now, Paul is planting the fifth circle. Yep, this is the fifth circle. Unfortunately, the crane wasn't available to drop Nudge into the middle. So I've put down a board, and I'm on a board. Oh yeah. He's using a board. Yeah. He couldn't reach also in the middle. Completed. Completed. Well done. Okay, so to complete it, this is, I think it's the sixth circle that we're on now. And it's a very small circle just of three right in the very middle. So we're putting three big begonias in the very middle. All I've got to do to finish off now is just to complete these circles here where the board is. Okay, so you can see now that we have completed our first bed. It's not taken us that long, really. Not sure exactly how many begonias we've put in there. We're going to count. We're going to have a count up afterwards. But we've now completed the first bed. We will do the other three beds in exactly the same way. Obviously, we're not going to show you the others. But we will bring, it, bring you back at the end to see when we've completed all four of them. Earlier today, Nadja and I set ourselves a challenge of planting a thousand begonias in one day. When you were last with us, we'd finished planting this very first bed. So this is the bed that we had finished, and we said that we would come back and start filming again when we'd planted the rest. Well, we have now. We've actually planted all four of the beds. That's a second. That's a third. And the fourth one down here underneath the apple tree. So we've planted all four of these beds with bedding begonias. We reckon that we've got an average of about 140 bedding begonias on each one of these beds. So we're now going to move on to do some more begonia planting. So after finishing the raised beds at the front of the house, we came around the back and we planted a very long border along the side of the patio. So you can see that the whole of this border has been edged with the bedding begonias. After completing our planting around the back, Although very tired, we've come around the front to plant a few different types of begonias. We're actually now going to plant some begonias 
in these containers at the front of the property. These are not the bedding begonias. They're going to be planting some trailing begonias and non-stop. And to make it worse, it has started raining. So we are tired, hungry and thirsty. And also now we are getting wet because believe it or not, we've got a storm, a shower. So these begonias, as I said, are trailing begonias and non-stop begonias. And we're adding them to the lovely collection of plants that we've got here at the front wow. of our property. And Nadge is just showing you what we've got here at the front. Those are the beautiful lilies that we planted before, yes. Okay. Now I'm doing the other one of these containers in the same way with the trailing and the non-stop. These are the big begonias? Yep, these are the big begonias. Yep. Trailing and non-stop begonias. And they're going to make a beautiful show here at the front of the house. Wow. Those, Obviously, I'm trying to do this very quickly because it is actually raining. And Nadja's hair is getting wet. She's not going to be very pleased about it. Okay, so it's really late in the day. We're really tired. This completes our effort as far as the begonia planting is concerned. We set ourselves a challenge of planting a thousand begonias. Did we meet the challenge? Not quite. We reckon that in the end we planted about 900 begonias in one day. Still, we reckon that was quite a good effort. We're pretty tired, we're hungry, thirsty. We're going to stop now, we can't carry on. But we've planted about 900 begonias. Hope you enjoyed the fun, and we hope that it'll be a beautiful show of begonias here in a few weeks' time. And Nadge is finishing off by showing you the beautiful lilies. Not begonias, lilies.